Hello, hello, hello. James Polk with Apex Law Service. I have not made a video in a little while. Um, I have been working on marketing and networking and putting together uh, a new P.O. box, a few other odds and ends, building a couple of pages, building a couple of programs. Um, one of the programs we're building is called our stacking services. It's free. It's for incarcerated individual individuals in the United States, um, anywhere in the United States. If you know someone who is incarcerated, um, we have a PO box on apexlawservice.com. Um, it is our, it's on the same page as our task services and their stacking services. Stacking services are us receiving um, legal documents uh, from incarcerated individuals, receiving them, stacking them, saving them, and then sending them to um, wh wherever they need to be sent to to give them like to family or to other people. Um, we can't really file documents without an attorney. We have an escalated contract we can um, initiate and have you sign into and have an attorney sign into called Task Services. Um, you have to pay an attorney or we can sometimes find a pro bono attorney. Um, I cannot promise that we can find a free attorney. I can almost 100% guarantee you that we can find an attorney very quickly from our list of client attorneys who will um, let you pay them $250 on a one-time flat fee. And then we can then do work um, filing your documents and doing different minor tasks that aren't really full legal matters um, in the sense of a litigation type of uh, situation. Um, there's no trial involved. There's nothing like that. We do talk with the attorney first. We just keep the communication very, very brief. We say, hey, we're going to break this um, storage unit lease or the cell phone contract or you know, we're going to file this document at the request of the client. Is there something, I mean, for one, do you give us the authorization to do it too? Is there anything we need to know about it? Just really minor tasks. So um, we do that at a rate of $30 an hour. Um, and our regular paralegal rate is $71.25 an hour. I have about 25 paralegals. Um, we have a new phone system. Um, you can contact two of us directly. The number is 760-705-9033. And there's a growing phone tree on there. So we have one of our attorney clients who we have on there. Um, you can uh, press one of the numbers on there to talk with him directly. He was a San Diego City prosecutor. And he did... Um, that for a number of years. He has prosecuted and defended multiple hundreds of DUIs on both sides of the courtroom and other criminal cases. So um, he's our main client right now for criminal defense. We have one other criminal defense attorney who's a member of the North County Bar Association and also of the Long Beach Bar Association is a member of the um, Italian American Lawyers Association. She's an amazing attorney as well, and she does family and juvenile law. Um, and the s s former San Diego City attorney um, does business litigation as well. So we have two people here in San Diego that stretch up to LA where we can connect you with one of them. If you do decide to hire them, they use us for paralegal hours that cost $71.25. Um, normally, if you go right into a law office, you get charged $125 an hour to $280 an hour for paralegal work, the work that we do as a network of paralegals. Um, so you save $500 to $200 an hour on the paralegal hours. The attorneys still charge a regular attorney rate of 300 to $350 an hour, depending on if it's an associate attorney or the main attorney. So it really just depends on which one of the attorneys we introduce you to, um, who you hire. Um, so we don't have any one attorney we're, we're advertising for. We're advertising for Apex Law Service. It is a service. You contact us first. You contract with us. We connect you to an attorney who if, if you like them and they like you and they offer to be your attorney and you take them up on the offer, um, we we are the paralegal hours that they quote you. So 
That's that. Our paralegals have all gone through different paralegal training programs. I went through the University of San Diego's um, American Bar Association Curriculum Approved Program. So did several of the other um, independent paralegals who do the work with APEX for our attorney clients for you. Um, we still have our project for kids on juvenile probation that we help um, any community group put together as a community group. So it's really a free consulting program. Me showing you how to do this project that I did when I was a youth minister about a decade ago um, with Young Life up in San Bernardino County in the high desert. It's a really easy thing to do. Um, what you do as a community group, either a religious or non-religious community group, you go and you adopt a street and then you get a roster of people who are part of your organization who are going to spend four to five hours every Saturday um, doing this activity in the morning. And what it is is you sign off on three hours of community service for the kids whose parents bring them. Um, who need community service for the juvenile probation officers and for the judge, for the prosecutor, for the court. Um, and the way you find those kids is you find their parents through juvenile probation's uh, local county office. So you go in with a letter explaining, hey, we've adopted such and such a street. We have a roadside sign there. We're going to meet. We have a table and a, you know, one of... We'll have three or four volunteers there every Saturday from like 9 a.m. Um, to noon, something like that. And you get there a little earlier and leave a little later. You know, say, you know, we'll have some sunscreen, some water, some snacky poos. I don't know. Whatever you want to bring. You don't have to bring food. Um, but it's good to probably have water and sunscreen at least. You can have them bring sack lunches and... Um, just promise to sign off on three hours of community service like every week or every other week even. Um, just give people a schedule and stick to it. Try to stick that to that for two years. And that's it. You can invite the kids and their families to do whatever your community group does all week. If it's a church, um, there's youth night and there's church on Sunday. Um, there's... You know, if you're a bird watching group, you can go invite them to your monthly bird watching thing. That's a, that's kind of a cool activity. Um, kids, a lot of times, don't get out into nature and they get into some trouble. But maybe you can help redirect them into a cool activity. And that's the whole idea. Um, when I was reading my criminal law book a little over a decade ago, I was in a distance law school program when I got out of the Marine Corps Reserves. I was up in San Bernardino in the high desert. And um, I was in the Hesperia Library, just reading, 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 and I read in the very back of my Perkins and Boyce Criminal Law Hornbook about how juvenile prosecutors like working with people who are outside of the law system, not um, outlaws, <laughs> not criminally outside of the law system, but who are not part of the law industry, who do things that they can connect their kids who are getting into some type of legal trouble or another that they can connect um, these kids and their parents to to draw them into some different activities so that they're functionally redirected outside of um, the, the criminal justice system and the goal is to avoid juveniles who have an issue or something something happens avoid causing that to become a recidivist issue um, and keeping them from becoming stigmatized and self-stigmatized. Um, you know, it really does work wonders to spend time with people. If they know they can trust you and your group, they're more likely to participate in your activities and then maybe become a part of the group. So um, that's those two projects. And hopefully... Um, hopefully some people start to take us up. Actually, we have some people starting to send us documents uh, week one from different prison institutions. Um, out in Indiana, we're working to help somebody find probably a pro bono attorney for um, some, some routine tasks. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to get much into it. It's a name change that we're helping someone with, so it's a little bit of a different situation for someone who's incarcerated. And that's the whole thing. If people are incarcerated, they get stuck. So we're becoming a hub for their documents and sending their documents 
to other professionals if they need or just giving them back to them and having kept them for safekeeping. Um, people go into these incarceration bids and um, they have to pay their debt to society but when they come out they don't we don't really need to make things harder it's not good for anybody it's not good for them it's not good for us it's not good for society at large and therefore um, we've created this methodology of helping people stay on their feet in certain areas of their life like not letting some parts of their life fall apart um, that is not the right of the state um, to force people's lives to fall apart beyond you know they're being punished with incarceration they lose some of their rights um, but that is just a function of going to prison a lot of the time so my creative project has been to uh, put together this free document stacking service so apexlawservice.com and allinservice.org are the um, set of paralegal projects that I have going on and also the project for kids on juvenile probation. Thank you for checking out this video and hopefully I get some better lighting in here. I'm kind of squinting because I set the light up funny. I thought it was good at first, but um, just rolled with it. All right. Thanks for watching the video. This is James Polk, trustee of Apex Law Service.